black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. When's the last time we had a hot, hot, hot hit of a pizza paya? You guys know I crave Pizza Hut at least once per month. It's got to happen. Freshness seal just hit the door. And it's a little different than usual. Just one ingredient different, but it's a controversial ingredient. What do we got? What do we got? A dun 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 dun. <laughs> we got mother effing pineapple on there with pepperoni. Yeah, I had to do it to him. I was craving a pineapple pie, and why? Well, it's all Quan Tran's fault. This is for you, Quan. Even though I know you're probably not watching my video. A Muckers Pro Move. Been a while since we had a Muckers Pro Move go down. Okay, so pineapple, pepperoni, pie, also on the wings, or on the wings, on the side. I got five boneless wings. This is a deal, a meal deal. It's $15.99 for a two topping. Five of these guys and then breadsticks. But who the f who eats bread? Like, it, it, this is breadsticks. <laughs> Why would I need breadsticks? But it's cheap to get. All right. Look at that. I got to say the hut do be, do be slapping when it comes to these boneless bites. Their boneless bites are awesome. Their wings... And not so much. I don't like them. To be honest, no pizza place I've ever experienced has good wings. Like bone and wings. And we got peppercorn ranch. Two of them on deck. We're not pouring up. Keeping it crispy with the water. Okay, I will try to shut up now. I need some food. But the ice maker man just chimed in. So, you know, all kinds of shit going down but anyways here we go corner piece hey 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 that's what's up right there look at that look at that no oh, look at that no oh. <laughs> oh man there you go been a minute since we've had a nice pizza hati pie but we dip and we go Oh man, come on, mm. pure bless. Mm. She's stringing today. So how do y'all feel about Pineapple on pie. Right there. The controversial offender. My dad hates it. <laughs> he once said, you might as well put jube jubes. All right, jujubes on a pizza. I disagree. The sweetness is awesome against the salty. Excuse me while I shut up my ice maker. As y'all can see, I am back in the old setup. My other one's just kind of annoying me, the, the new one that I made. It's gonna really rattling my rattling my my gears. Honey barbecue, by the way. It's just annoying me. The lighting and stuff. I just like this one better. It's so clean. I like my light. I like the dark wall. I think it's the better setup. 
so I'm back in it for now. As you can tell, it's not that hot out here today because your man's got a hoodie and a toque on. Suppose if I had air conditioning, that could always be the case, but I don't have central air. The house be too old. All right. So this is Quan's fault because he posted a video the other day saying I made the most hated pizza, like, but good or something like that. He, of course, whipped it from scratch. His had ham and jalapenos on it, I believe. But watching him make and eat that made me really crave it. So I woke up today fully ready for pineapple pie. All right. I just wanted to let y'all guys know something today. Maybe you need to hear it. I don't know. I certainly need to iterate it to myself from time to time when I get feeling guilty about it. And that is time you spent chilling, relaxing, doing not much. Not being productive. If you enjoyed that time doing that that's not time wasted okay chilling relaxing being easy wasting time or being lazy or not productive is maybe one of the most important forms of self-care there is out there It's okay to just be sometimes. Especially when like all your ducks are in a row and like your house is clean and things are good. Take some time and don't feel guilty. Because the societal almost boomer-esque previous generation, um, you know, perpetual productivity way of thinking of a life is high key a form of mental illness. I'm convinced. But they love to shame you. They love to call you this, that, and the third. About why it is that you're not always doing something. But you don't always have to be doing something. Like, for example, the European way of life, like real Italians, they work like a, they work like a half day, they take naps, they meet up in the afternoon for like, uh, uh, espresso, they hang out, they enjoy some food.
they find that balance of work-life balance. In the West, we do not have that. I understand, though, life is expensive and you got to make a living. And it's only getting worse and worse with the prices of things. So, yeah, it's hard to... get off the hamster wheel because your very survival depends on you being on that wheel in a lot of cases so I understand that but I'm just saying when you do have some time to be easy don't let those voices from exterior world and people seep in your head and be like, get up and do something, you piece of shit. <laughs> your only value in this world is to be doing. How dare you not be doing, you know? That's a sick thought. That's a sick way of thinking. In my opinion. You know? Maybe you don't. Maybe you're a go, 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 go person. They are out there. And they can't be stopped. Somebody that always has to be doing something. I believe it's just a form of escapism it's just a distraction thing it's like if I'm not doing shit then I'm with myself and I don't like being with myself so I'm gonna like bury my head in tasks that require my attention and focus so that way I don't gotta be with myself because a lot of people can't be with themselves a lot of people are always running away from their own head But if that's the form of therapy, like work therapy almost, that gets them where they need to go in life and keeps them away from uh, staring down the barrel, you know, then that's a good thing. Keep doing all the shit. You know, but such is life. That's what creates the texture of society and the fabric and life is that we're all different and we all have our ways of being, handling things and getting through to the next day. All right. Half a pie slammed few chickens I'm not trying to get crazy crazy full and you know I got stuff to do hence this conversation I actually do have stuff to do today that I can't quite chill so I don't want to be too full for it anyways hope you enjoyed it till the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay true peace